The position command will be used to find the position in a character string of a certain character letter, such as, let's select the last name, position the E in last name, and we'll position the F in last name. So we're really going to look for the E's and the F's. As you can see with Jones, the fourth character, J-O-N-E, is where the E is at. But notice the zero and find the F because there is no F in Jones. As a matter of fact, let's scroll down just a little bit of ways and we can see in the find the F column that coughing has the F found in position three, but there's two F's in coughing. So you must understand that anytime you use the position command, it will find the first occurrence of that particular letter. And if it doesn't find any of that, it gives it a zero. We're now going to combine the substring or the substr with the position command. Now we talked earlier about substring or substr saying this is what I want to substr or substring and it will start in this position and it will go for this many positions. We also saw before where we actually ran a subquery to get the starting position well, this time, we're going to do the same thing to get the ending position. What I want to see is, and I want you to look at the end report here, we're going to get department number, and then we're going to get an alias called Depti, which is the department name. And notice that some of the department names have multiple words in it, such as research and develop. Well, we only want on our final column in the report the first word from each one of those department names. So here's how we're going to do it. We'll select department number, department name as Depti. We're going to substring Depti. Notice I'm using the alias. I could use department name again, but either way it's going to work to use Depti. From the starting position of one, so start in the very first position, but how far should it go? Well, let's look at research and develop. It's going to go for the position to look for the first space, such as research and develop, between research and the word and is the first space, and that's going to be the first original length, and then we're going to subtract one from that, and that is going to give us only research. Of course, when we see that we go to marketing, it goes and starts in position one, but it finds spaces at the end of marketing and then moves back to the G in marketing for the length. And of course, we've got customer space support, as you can understand, starts in position one, then it says, how long should I go? And it goes, find the space and subtract one and come back. And that will give you the ability to, in a sense, run subqueries on any of these substring positions to determine the beginning length or how far you want to go. Now you're starting to see some real cleverness that I know you can do. Here you can see from my report down below that I've got department names that have more than one word in them, such as customer support, human resources, and research and develop. Now, I just want from the second word to the end. And this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to select the department name and I'm going to substring department name from my starting position. Won't have the number there. I'll run a subquery. I'm going to position for the space in department name and it's going to look over there and it's going to start at the position of the first space, but I got a plus one in there, and that will start in the second word. And since I didn't give it an ending length, it just goes to the end. And that is how you're going to be able to get the second word on. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. The next is Query Chameleon, a query tool looking to help your data adapt to any surroundings. Hi, this is Tom Coffing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.